No, no, no. Defense HP. D -d Defense again? What the? Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Johnny, and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Mystic Offering. Let's discuss about when you should use this system so you're not risking the chance of losing your valuable resources. We'll be re-rolling a bunch of artifacts as a test, uh, 100 to be exact. So let's find out if we get anything notably good and if it's worth using. Before we do jump into it guys, if you do like the video, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. This will greatly help our channel to grow and help with the YouTube algorithm and recommend the video to others the viewers. Now, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Just a quick review, but with the Mystic Offering, you'll be able to trade in three artifacts for one piece of the following set. Unfortunately, you can't choose a specific piece. Uh, given that we are offering three artifacts for one, I would hope we get to choose a piece. This would definitely make it more worthwhile to use if we didn't have to battle against RNG. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of using the Mystic Offering. I don't even encourage players to use it, unless you're like me with a bunch of gold artifacts and just need to clear up some space. Your chances of getting what you're looking for is very slim and the loss is just too severe. But it can be a beneficial method if you get lucky. Like everything else in the game. For this particular video, I'm going to be trading in 300 gold artifacts for 100 bloodstained chivalry pieces. The goal is to make my Eula stronger and hopefully hit 200% crit damage. A little extra crit rate would be an added bonus as well. She already has a couple pieces from the Pale Frame set that's very good, so I wanted to mix and match 2-piece Pale Frame with 2-piece Bloodstain uh, for consistency purposes since I don't have many endgame pieces for that set. However, since my Eula already has a couple Pale Frame pieces that's considered endgame, it's important to note that every Bloodstain piece I get that's the same as my endgame Pale Frame pieces are basically a waste since I won't be replacing those ones unless I get super lucky. That's the biggest issue I have with the Mystic Offering, is that you can't choose a specific piece. You have to layer RNG on top of RNG to have a chance with the piece you're looking for. And in most cases, feels like a waste because you threw away 3 gold artifacts. Which is a lot of artifact experience by the way. Now I mentioned it in one of my other videos, but we have a video released talking about how to properly use your artifacts for experience and Mora. I highly recommend you guys to check it out because there is an efficient way of using your artifacts to min-max your artifact experience and more. The video will be linked in the description box below, but we can quickly recap the video. Basically, what you want to mainly do is use your gold artifacts for experience and sell your blue and purple artifacts for more. You'd want to mainly do this because you can't destroy gold artifacts and get Mora in return. Mora is an essential resource in the game that's highly valued and quite honestly, there's no I have enough Mora because you can never have too much. If you think you do, then what are you working for? Even myself who managed to save up to 40 million Mora still feels like it's not enough because I still have characters and weapons to upgrade. As long as there's room for improvement and upgrades, you'll need all the Mora you can get. Do you guys see the cost for upgrading talent? to plus 9? Uh, tell me that's not insane. Imagine that for every single character. Dun 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 dun! Now we're done with the conversion and have our 100 bloodstained pieces. Let's review and see what type of garbo we get. Uh, the uh, angelic artifacts. No, no, no. Defense, HP. D -d -d Defense again? What the? <clears throat> uh, pardon my friend, I'll play the entire clip off, but you can see the results are just so mediocre. I can't really say we had any perfect artifacts, even for pieces that I didn't need, and that's because RNG is RNG, and the result is no different than just running regular domains, besides wasting a lot of artifacts. Now my Eula can't hit 200% crit imagery. <laughs> But you guys get the bigger picture, right? With the amount of artifacts I wasted trying to chase after new ones, quite honestly, I'd rather save all of those artifacts and just use them instead as offering for other pieces. Even artifacts with two good ones of substats is better because you at the very least have chances to see how it develops and can decide if you want to full commit or not. 
Now, that's not to say that there's no benefit with the Mystic Offering. If you're aiming for any pieces of a certain set that's listed here, then it's not as bad because any piece you get with good substats will be a win no matter what. This will also in the long run save you some resin so you don't have to run domains or bosses to get them. But if you're like me, hoping to chase after certain pieces, then I wouldn't get your hopes up because this is not the most optimal way to do so. You should mainly only use the Mystic Offering under these circumstances. 1. You have too many any gold artifacts and just need to clear up some space. Just know that if you're going to do this, check your inventory to see if you have a lot of blue and purple artifacts. It's best to sell those first before considering the mystic offering. Or two, you're not aiming for certain pieces from a set and will benefit from any pieces you gain. This will make your net gain higher because every piece will be acceptable. At this point, you'll just have to beat RNG for good stats. Other than these two situations, I would try to stay away from the mystic offering. Again, the loss is just too severe and you'll be wasting a lot of resources. In some sense, wasting a lot of artifact experience will in some way cost you more because eventually players might end up using blue and purple artifacts if they don't have enough experience. But these are just my thoughts on the matter with the Mystic Offering. Speaking from somebody that used the system a couple times when my inventory was flooding up, I can't really recall ever getting any end game pieces with good substats but maybe my RNG is just in the dumpster. Let me know what you guys think about the Mystic Offering and if any of you guys have tried it. If so, how many rows did you do and did you gain anything from it? Uh, for me, it was a desperation attempt to do some holiday cleaning. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to also turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any newly released videos. I've been Johnity, and until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next one.